Zan Reloaders and Three Circles Passengers and Members, it's Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you from the Hot Lead Zone Express up here in the Seattle, Washington State area. And I'm getting ready to do a incremental ladder loading to work up a nice load with Varget powder and a Burger 52 grain flat base target varmint bullet. And as I'm getting ready to do this, it occurs to me that a lot of you out there have some questions about powder measures and how accurate they are. And for instance, some of you out there have some real trusty powder measures that you've been using for decades, like this RCBS Uniform. So we might be looking for more accurate powder measures today. And so we're looking at, for instance, the Redding BR3, or perhaps the RCBS UPM3 competition powder measure. So let's do this. Let's compare the accuracy of these powder measures, the Redding versus the RCBS competition versus our old Uniflow. So let's go ahead and do a test and the powders we're going to use is Hodgdon Varget and also Accurate Arms 2520. These are representative of powders that are popular today. The shortcut stick type powder like Hodgdon Varget as opposed to a kind of a ball powder that's easy to meter. We want to go ahead and shoot an increment ladder to determine plateaus where powder charge doesn't make that much change in feet per second one way or the other. So you have a range where the feet per second is actually not that sensitive as to whether the powder charge is off by one or two tenths of a grain either way. So finding that range will give us consistent feet per second where long range shooting will be more consistent. Then an accurate powder measure becomes much more important. Now of course to get fine accuracy within that range we would adjust the overall length of the bullet seating so we can get an accuracy node within the powder node and then have the best of all worlds where we have accuracy and also long range consistency. What we're going to do is get the powder measured nice and stable and then throw and, and log in 20 throws to see how accurate a certain powder measure will be with these two type powders and then give you the results so you can kind of see how for instance would spending for a more expensive measure like the Redding BR3 or do we have value with a lower price but still high quality like the RCBS competition UPM3 so we're going to go ahead and, and compare all three of these powder measures today with two different powders. And here of course is the RCBS digital scale. We're going to check with the check weights how accurate that is. There's 20. There's five more. And there's one more. So you see that uh, that's plenty accurate for our test. There you see the Varget. It's a shortcut stick powder. Here's the first throw. Twenty-five point six. We'll tabulate that. It's off by two tenths. Notice how smoothly the Redding BR3 cuts the charge. And then take this over.
And you see it's 25.8. That's right on the target. Now, of course, the Acura 2520 is a ball-type rifle powder, well-suited for use in 30-06 and a wide range of other calibers. So our scale is zeroed. And now we go ahead, throw the first one. And you see it's 27.5 right on the target. That's, that's the first charge of 20. We'll do that 19 more times. Okay, now for the RCBS UPM3 competition powder measure. And so you see we zeroed the scale. Now we go over to the RCBS UPM3. Let's zoom out on that. Already thrown about 20 charges. Let's take this over to the scales. Okay, the scale stabilizer. Don't talk at it. It's right between 27.8 and 27.9. right between 27.8 and 27.9. Let's go with 27.8. So here you see the data from the powder measure consistency test using the two powders. The first powder is the Varget and the three powder measures the 40 plus year old RCBS Uniflow the relatively new Reading BR3 and the relatively new RCBS UPM3 competition powder measure. So you see the target with the RCBS Uniflow that's uh, 40 plus years old was 25.8 grains. And the 20 throw average was 25.70 grains which is one-tenth off for each throw on average. The extreme spread was 0.7 grains. That's not good if your powder node is only 0.3 or 0.4 grains wide. This will exceed that. So you're going to have inaccuracy of your loads. Voiding the use of this powder measure for direct throws in precision shooting. The low is 25.4 which is four tenths lower than the target. And the high is 26.1 which is three tenths higher than a target. With the Reading BR3 the target was 25.8 grains and you see pretty consistent with the average at 25.78 grains, which is just under the target of 25.8. 25.78 is pretty good. It's only a two tenths spread also, which makes it very useful for throwing directly into precision reloaded casings. Low was 25.7, which is one-tenth under the target. The high was 25.9, which is one-tenth above the target. Good powder measure for use in metering Varget for precision loading. And there you see the RCBS UPM3 competition powder measure. 25.8 grains the target also and there are the throws 
and you see the average is 25.77 which is one hundredth of a grain under the accuracy of the reading. That's a good average. The extreme spread was 0.3 grains still right in the range where we're going to get a powder node for precision loads. So this measure is very useful also for precision loading with Vargate powder. And there's the low 25.7 which is one tenth under our target and the high was 26.0 grains which is two tenths over our target. Now of course we need to discuss the easier to meter ball type powders of which Acura 2520 is a good example and so the same three powder measures were used and you see the the throws there, 20 throws and then we averaged the 20 and then took the extreme spreads which are very important because that falls right into the powder node that we're looking for when we do a ladder test. So you'll notice that the old RCBS Uniflow gave us a target of 27.5 and it was right on the target. But there was an extreme spread of 0.2 grains which is not much. And the low of 27.5 right on the target the high of 27.7 which is two tenths above the target. If you have a powder node of say three tenths or even four tenths you're well within that so the RCBS Uniflow will be useful for doing precision powder throws. However the Redding BR3 gives us even better performance with a target of 27.9 we're only three hundredths of a grain off the average and then the extreme spreads only one tenth of a grain. 27.8 to 27.9 was the every throw was right there. Now the RCBS UPM3 competition powder measure it's the same accuracy as the Redding but instead of being 0.3 grains low, the, the target is 27.8 where three hundredths of a grain high. But it's the same accuracy. And then the extreme spread again only one tenth of a grain so that we're right between 27.8 and 27.9 with all the charges making the RCBS UPM3 competition powder measure and the Reading BR3 equal in performance. We can confidently use either one of those two to direct charge our precision reloads. And all three of these powder measures ran smoothly on the ball powder. All the throws were smooth. Unlike the stick type powders, even shortcut stick type powders, the RCBS Uniflow was very bulky. And the Redding and the RCBS UPM3, they operated fairly smoothly with the stick powder. There are occasional balks whenever you encounter one of the bulky throws simply reject it and you get the good performance. So based on the testing we did today the old RCBS Uniflow can be retired in favor of the newer measures. So based on the data from our testing I can confidently recommend either one of these measures for your own precision reloading 
However, there are advantages that the RCBS has over the Redding. Let's go over those. So look at the large hopper. The convenience of having one pound of powder in the hopper, but also there might be some kind of advantage in better accuracy is because when you have a larger diameter powder hopper and a one pound capacity you got better weight through your baffle and under the baffle to provide a little more accuracy so that's one also the screw attached hopper is easier to remove and clean than the Redding hopper which is attached by two screws which you have to back out to take the hopper off for cleaning. Also the metering stem is useful for both pistol and rifle reloading whereas the Redding you may need to get a whole different stem or a whole different measure to provide that kind of versatility. The size of the powder measure gives us some kind of intangible benefit for our pleasure of use. Also the powder coat which is a two-tone glossy is more pleasing than the flat green spackle type of finish on the Redding. And finally the RCBS is a higher value as it's substantially less costly than the Redding. This is Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you from the hot lead zone. Take care. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.